Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I'm not doing uh, YouTube videos for the past few weeks. It's because I've joined for BF. Uh, I know it's not a right excuse to give, but uh, that's the uh, real truth. Uh, I'm not getting enough time. So today I got some time. That's why I thought I'll, I should put a video because I'm not showing justice to my viewers and subscribers. It's in a way, right? So uh, that's why today I thought I should do it. Uh, the topic which I wish to speak to you about is how to make things more simple you will think is there any need to give a talk on making things simple because we all often we do things more simple in a simple way and we often find it difficult to make it more complex right uh, but i think these days people often uh, run behind making things complicated or complex why because they often feel that if their work is more complex, it will be given due respect or uh, it will be taken into consideration by the higher authorities or anyone else. But if the thing is more simple, someone or the audience or higher authorities may not give proper value to your specific work. I think that is the main reason which most of the people are running to make things complicated. Uh, but I often feel like if your idea is so simple, if you're presenting it in a more simple way, most of the other people who are ordinary layman or anyone can understand your topic. On the other hand, if a small idea is expressed in a complex way, only few people and even they may not be able to give a proper read on that. Because what you intend is not the proper comprehension of the work by other people but what you intend is to make their work more complicated most of the people won't give enough time to read things to comprehend things why they have to comprehend more hard things there are a lot of other works to do and if the thing is more simple they'll be very happy to read it for example if you're giving a long one page uh, letter to your CEO of the company or if you are giving it to any of the offices or higher authorities they may not give it a proper read they will only read the first of last few lines of the letter or the content they may not get enough time to read that so there is no point in making things complicated if your content is crisp and if it's more simple and if it contains or if it can convey a lot of ideas, then that's a great one. So while if I have seen people, often if you are going for a seminar, you always think, okay, what I should do is like, I need to make the things more complex because if the other people or if the audience were seeing my work, they'll get attracted to my work and I will get some value in front of them. Often people think like that. So what they'll do is, They'll have some simple content and they'll often try to make it more complex by adding high sounding words or using high vocabulary. Uh, the, of, uh, the point which I have to highlight here uh, in this is, I have often heard people speaking in English. Uh, it's always easier for a person. If you have the flow, it's always easier for a person to communicate full, fully in English. Because you will only have to know a few vocabulary or few words in order to converse in English. But in the case of Malayalam, it's very difficult to speak in proper Malayalam because there is a lot of words which you as a Malayali or a Keralite, you may not be knowing all the words in Malayalam. So in between, what you'll do is you will use English terms in between. But in the case of English, you can add up, you can manage to speak well in English. You, there is no need for um, putting some Malayalam words in between and disrupting the flow. There is no need for that. But in Malayalam, if you're using that also, there won't be an issue. But in the case of certain other people, I have always observed, it's not a kind of criticism or anything. Uh, I have often felt it. Why people are using Malayalam while talking in English? If you're talking in English, it's easier for the communicator to speak entirely in English. If you're speaking in Malayalam, try to speak all things in Malayalam, but certain words, we only have some Sanskritized terms for that. So in that case, you can use English words instead of that in Malayalam. 
but please don't uh, bring malayalam words while you are speaking english it will always disrupt the communication so i have often felt it while hearing from other people so that's why i i, I actually wanted to address this issue so that's why i just intend to put this video also and another point is when you have to make any content uh, most of the people what they often do is they'll always prepare a simple draft they'll understand the content they'll know what they are going to present uh, they'll make a rough script and they'll revise it they'll properly read it and they'll make the proper changes and they will arrange it properly and they'll make a good content out of it and later most of the people what they do is no actually this is very simple i mean if i'm going to uh, present something great i need to impress people so what i should do is like i need to make it more high sounding i need to use vocabulary and sometimes when you use vocabulary you need to make sure that you are using the proper word for the proper context if you are not using the proper word for the context the entire meaning will change that will make the content more comic than high sounding so it's always important and it's always necessary for you to evaluate your content evaluate the words you use while writing a proper content so it is not high sounding words which counts but it's your idea which counts even though you are presenting in a very simple way the idea which you convey is thought provoking or if you are able to comprehend the idea or the readers if they are able to comprehend your uh, the idea which you have given in your paper or if the audience if they can comprehend the idea which you are conveying then you are successful there is no need for people to say that oh that word is quite fabulous i was not even understanding the meaning of it is that a good compliment which you wish to deserve i don't think so we always want to hear compliments from people right after doing a particular work we always wish to hear it from people so i think if next time if you are doing something please make it more simple and then i think now if you are doing something more complicated and if some people are appreciating you next time just make your thing simple 100 percentage i assure you all people who are in the hall who is hearing your words they will appreciate you because they understand they can properly comprehend the content which you are delivering so there lies your greatness make things simple and that will make you great this is not the complex things which can make you great it is always the simple things which you create can make you more beautiful and great so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, so please subscribe for more such videos Thank you bye bye